New York City breeds the best of basketball players. Basketball players that are great under any type of pressure. The way it all started was seventh grade. I was as good as everybody else was. I had to work way harder than everybody else did. Sixth grade, I was about 6'2". Um, I caught my first dunk and it was just like, wait, did I really just do this? I just kept on playing in my head, it's just me. And after that day, I feel like I just need to take basketball seriously because I can make a life out of it. I feel like, you know, the community relies on this program. I feel like, you know, where we've come from to, to now, especially the neighborhood kids right now playing in the South Shore Jersey is very big for the neighborhood. South Shore basketball represents a brotherhood, family, step on the court, take care of business, on and off the court, in the classroom. On the court, off the court, we're brothers no matter what happens. No matter anything that happens, we're always behind each other. It's the toughness that we got in each other, just by the way we go in practice. I mean, in practice, there's no rules, no no calls, no reference. So for me, you're going to get hurt. But for me, the only key is to fight through it. So when we come to other opponents, we're used to that. So if you're going to foul us, we're going to fight through it, get the lay, we're going to yell, we're going to get in your face. It's nothing personal, it's just tough. That's the reason why like everybody, like they want to come to Christ the King, but it's not for everybody. Everybody's not ready for that life. Like, if you're not about it and you're not going to give 110 and you're not going to make coach happy and give him what he needs to win the game, this is what you want on the team. My philosophy is very simple. Don't make rules you can't enforce. And, and I have one rule, honestly. The only rule is don't embarrass me and I won't embarrass you. You know, I have, I have the Italian in me, so I'm a little bit more arrogant. I think it's a matter of just the respect thing. Hey, listen, we're in, the, we're in a game. I'm not going to yell and scream and embarrass you in front of people. I don't expect you to do that to the program. When we're at practice, we better be able to talk openly and candid to each other. And that's how I think that you, you know, you earn that trust factor. Nitpicking with all the, I forgot my shorts. You know what? I forgot my shorts before. It, it happens. But just, you can always have respect for somebody and you can always make sure that you realize that it's bigger than just you. It's, it's a program and it's a lot of years of doing something. So I think with that one rule, it kind of just makes things a lot easier and everybody knows where you're coming from. Sub show and three, family on six, attitude nine. One, two, three. Sub show. Four, four, five, six, family. seven, eight, nine. Attitude. I could say about, you know, our DNA is it's a, it's a traditional homemade. You know, everybody a homemade players, meaning we stayed in the gym to get better. We wasn't ranked early. You know, everybody just got better. We stayed in the gym, we worked hard, you know, and we just, we just reaping the benefits right now. Um, honestly, Sean Marks is a great coach. He's actually put me in positions where I could get better, be a leader. His motivation, his character, the way he treats us. One thing about Coach Sean Marks is he gives us a lot of tough love. Oh, jump to the ball! Jump to the ball! More pressure! He's pretty much like a mentor to all 15 kids on this program. He just came along, took me under the wing, Told me the game, maybe love the game. Keep going hard every day, keep pushing me so I can be great. To repeat this year, it's gonna take guys to just be disciplined, you know, just keep with the task, keep with the plan. When people doubt us as a public school, we just work hard. It's hard to play against Catholic schools and stuff like that because it's like public school, not much is expected of you. Trying to put that back into public school basketball by our style of play and what we do. The way we are now and the plays that we have now, the way we're working out, it's, it's unstoppable. It was unstoppable last year. Same thing this year. It's just we all more developed, stronger. When we play Christ the King on the seventh night, it's gonna go great. Christ King is a huge game, but Christ King is just another, just a, just another bump in our road that we just get past up. We've got two good programs matching up. I know my boys are gonna come to play. It's a big statement game for us. You know, we, we want to represent our town. We want to represent Brooklyn to the fullest, and we are gonna come out and play hard. On the seventh night, South Shore is walking out of Barclays Center with a W. We're different, we're not every team that you play against. Like Christ the King, that's not how they're brought up. Everybody comes here, they have a goal in life. That's to go to a Division I higher major. We always have a chip on our shoulder, like we have something to improve all the time. You step on the court and practice, the next man's not better than you, so. I'm more get it done type of guy. I'm not worried about who the, you know, who's supposedly the best team in New York City. And I, again, it changes every year. It changes on who you're talking about. You just want to be in that conversation every year. I feel like public school is more grittier than Catholic school basketball. It has its ups and downs. Like South Shore, I got I have respect for the coaches and I have respect for the players. Cause I know they just as good as me, but I know I'm better than them. So 
I know most of them at South Shore, but I don't really care because when we get on the court, I'm still going to come up with the W. To go and play South Shore at the Barclays Center, I think it's just a great thing for New York City basketball. I think it, I do believe it's bigger than you know, any other non-league game we have on our schedule. This is something different. This is in Brooklyn, in the Barclays Center. First kids you know, kids you grew up playing against, against two powerhouse programs. I mean, I have a lot of res respect for Coach over there. And he's done a tremendous job since he's taken over. So I think it is a little bit more special. Private school, public school, don't really matter. We all got to lace our shoes with the same.